The Book of Judges, Chapter 9 And Abimelech the son of Jehovah went to Skim unto his mother's brethren, and communed with them, and with all the family of the house of his mother's father, saying, Speak, I pray you, in the ears of all the men of Sikkim, whether it's better for you, either that all the sons of Jehovah, which are three score and ten persons, reign over you, all that one reign over you. Remember also that I am your bone and your flesh. And his mother's brethren spoke of him in the ears of all the men of Sikkim, all these words and their hearts inclined to follow Abimelech, for they said, He is our brother. And they gave him three score and ten pieces of silver out of the house of Barbarith, wherewith Abimelech hired vain and light persons, which followed him. And he went unto his father's house at Ophrah, and threw his brethren, the sons of Jobah, being three score and ten persons, upon one stone. Notwithstanding yet, Jothan, the youngest son of Joba, was left, for he hid himself. And all the men of Sikkim gathered together, and all the house of Milo, and went and made Abimelech king, by the plain of the pillar that was in Sikkim. And when they told this to Jothan, he went and stood in the top of Mount Gerizim, and lifted up his voice, and cried, and said unto them, Hearken unto me, ye men of Sikkim, that God may hearken unto you. The trees went forth on a time to anoint a king over them, and they said unto the olive tree, Reign on thou over us. But the olive trees said unto them, Should I leave my fatness, wherewith by me they honour God and man, and go to be promoted over the trees? And the trees said to the fig tree, Come down, and reign over us. But the fig tree said unto them, Should I forsake my sweetness, or my good fruit? and go to be promoted over the trees. Then say the trees unto the vine, Come down, and reign over us. And the vine said unto them, Should I leave my wine, which cherish this golden man, and go to be promoted over the trees? Then say they all the trees unto the bramba, Come down, and reign over us. And the bramber said unto the trees, If in truth ye anoint me king over you, then come and put your trust in my shadow. And if not, let fire come out of the bramber and devour the cedars of Lebanon. Now therefore, if ye have done truly and sincerely, in that ye have made Abimelech king, and if ye have dealt it, while well, with Jauba and his house, and have done unto him according to the deserving of his hands. For my father fought for you, and adventured his life far, and delivered you out of the hand of Midian. And ye are risen up against my father's house this day, and have slain his sons, three score and ten persons, upon one stone, and have made a marriage the son of his maid servant, king over the men of Sikkim, because he is your brother. If ye have doubt truly and sincerely with Jehovah and with his house this day, then rejoice ye in Abimelech, and let him also rejoice in you. But if not, let fire come out from Abimelech, and devour the men of Sikkim, and the house of Milo, and let fire come out from the men of Sikkim, and from the house of Milo, and devour Abimelech. And Jotham ran away, and fled, and went to Bear, and died there, 
for the fear of Abimelech his brother. When Abimelech had reigned three years over Israel, there God sent an evil spirit between Abimelech and the men of Sikkim. And the men of Sikkim dealt twenty with Abimelech, that the cruelty done to the three score and ten sons of Jehovah might go, and their blood be laid upon Abimelech their brother, which slew them, and upon the men of Sikkim, which aided him in killing his brethren. And the men of Sikkim sent liars in wait for him in the top of the mountains, and they robbed all that came along that way by them. And it was told Abimelech. And Gal the son of Ebed came with his brethren, and went over to Sikkim. And the men of Sikkim put their confidence in him. And they went out into the fields, and gathered their vineyards, and sowed the grapes, and made merry, and went into the house of their God, and did eat and drink, and cursed Abimelech. And Gal the son of Ebed said, Who is Abimelech, and who is Sikkim, that we should serve him? Is not he the son of Jehovah, and Zebu his officer? Serve the men of Hamor, the father of Sikkim, for why should we serve him? And would to God these people were under my hand. Then would I remove Abimelech. And he said to Abimelech, Increase thine army, and come out. And when Zebu, the ruler of the city, heard the words of Gau, the son of Ebed, his anger was kindled, and he sent messengers unto Abimelech privily, saying, Behold, Gau, the son of Ebed, and his brethren, be come to seek him, and, behold, they fortify the city against thee. Now therefore, up by night, thou and the people that is with thee, and lying white in the field. And it shall be, that in the morning, as soon as the sun is up, thou shalt rise early, and set up the city. And behold, when he and the people that is with him come out against thee, then mayst thou do to them as thou shalt find occasion. And Abimelech rose up from all the people that were with him by night, and they laid wait against Sikkim in four companies. And Gau the son of Ebed went out, and stood in the entering of the gate of the city. And Abimelech rose up, and the people that were with him from lying in wait. And when Gau saw the people, he said to Zebu, Behold, there come people down from the top of the mountains. And Zebu said unto him, Thou seest the shadow of the mountains, as if they were men. And Gal spake again and said, See, there come people down by the needle of the land. And another company come along by the plain of Mea Nenim. Then said Zebu unto him, where is now thy mouth? Wherewith thou saidst, Who is Abimelech, that we should serve him? Is not these people that thou hast despised? Go out, I pray now, and fight with them. And Gal went out before the men of Sikkim, and fought with Abimelech. And Abimelech chased him, and he prayed before him, and many were overthrown and wounded, even unto the entering of the gate. And Abimelech dwelt at Alma, and Zeb thrust out Gal and his brethren, that they should not dwell in Sikkim. And it came to pass on the morrow, that the people went out into the field, and they told Abimelech, and he took the people and divided them into three companies, and laid them white in the field, and looked, and behold, 
the people were come forth out of the city, and he rose up against them, and smote them. And Abimelech and the company that was with him rushed forward, and stood in the entering of the gate of the city. And the two other companies ran upon all the people that were in the fields, and slew them. And Abimelech fought against the city all that day, and he took the city, and slew the people that was therein, and beat down the city, and sold it with salt. And when all the men of the tower of Sikkim had that, they entered into an hold of the house of the god of Berith. And it was told Abimelech that all the men of the tower of Sikkim were gathered together. And Abimelech got him up to Mount Zamor, he and all the people that were with him. And Abimelech took an axe in his hand, and cut down a bough from the trees, and took it, and laid it on his shoulder, and said unto the people that were with him, What ye have seen me do, make haste, and do as I have done. And all the people likewise cut down every man his bough, and followed Abimelech, and put them to the hold and set the hold on fire upon them, so that all the men of the tower of Sikkim died also, about a thousand men and women. Then went Abimelech to Thebeth, and they camped against Thebeth, and took it. But there was a strong tower within the city, and he that freed all the men and women, and all they of the city, and shot it to them, and cut them up to the top of the tower. And Abimelech came unto the tower, and fought against it, and went hard unto the door of the tower to burn it with fire. And a certain woman cast a piece of a milestone upon Abimelech's head, and all to break his skull. Then he said hastily unto the young man, his armor bearer, and said unto him, Draw thy sword, and slay me, that men say not of me. A woman slew him, and his young man thrust him through, and he died. And when the men of Israel saw that Abimelech was dead, they departed every man unto his place. Thus God rendered the wickedness of Abimelech which he did unto his father in slaying his seventy brethren. And all the evil of the men of Sikkim did God render upon their heads. And upon them came the curse of Jotham, the son of Jobah.